Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 Salvation is given and must be received. Once received, forever shall it belong to the redeemed. June 19, 2007 From Yahushua, HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Question asked by Timothy for a brother in Christ. Lord, can our salvation be lost? Answer from Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Timothy, write as I speak, and hear my words, and give me glory. For in my word is glory, even the truth, of which no man can change. For if any man attempts to change that which I have spoken for his own glory, or in the serving of the evil one, even that man shall I destroy, says the Lord. So then, you have come before me asking on your brother's behalf, though he asks in the testing of you, holding you up against his own belief and according to that doctrine of which he has already accepted. Yet I will speak for the sake of your asking and for the edification of him you have called friend and brother. For he is my son also, though he does not yet believe that you are who you claim to be. And for this reason also, I have had you write down my spoken word, so for surety he may know and understand that salvation gained is assured. For it is not by gain that you have received it, rather it is by grace, the gift of the Father, ransomed through the blood of the Son. So then, concerning all these the Father has given me, I shall not lose one. For those who come to me are drawn to me by the Father, and shall in no wise be cast out. Yet there are those among you who say it is written by the prophet, that when the righteous turn from their righteousness and commit iniquity and do wickedly, even for this shall the Father remember their righteous deeds no more. And because of the unfaithfulness, of which they are guilty, and the sin which they have committed, they shall surely die. This saying is true, and was spoken by God's prophet from aforetime, according to the old covenant, and should indeed be taken to heart. Yet understand this, you scholars, and those without understanding. You lack faith, and do not know your God, nor that covenant written in my own blood which has become the new and everlasting covenant. For I died. Behold, I am risen and live forevermore. Amen. And so as I live forever, so shall the righteous man live. Even if he should turn and stumble, his salvation is in no wise lost to him. For he has an advocate with the Father, one who stands in his place, having already paid the full price for his transgression. Behold, his sin is remembered no more, and cast into a dark sea of forgetfulness. Yet many, who call of themselves by my own name, cry aloud, saying, Lo, if a man turn from the Lord and commit wickedness, even this same man has lost his salvation and shall suffer in the fires of hell. Again I say to you, You know neither me nor my father, who is in heaven. For if you knew him, and had truly accepted me and my word, then I would live in you. And if I truly lived in you, you would understand God's mercy, which endures forever. For I am that mercy, who lives forever to intercede on your behalf, even a high priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. So then, O oh, arrogant generation, who do call of themselves by my own name, you do greatly err. For upon this one truth is the kingdom built, and eternal life established. Salvation received in me is forever, as I am forever and unchanging. For I have already told you, this is a cord which cannot be broken, for it is made of the finest thread and the strongest steel and in no wise shall death prevail. And by no means can one be cast into hell, 
to suffer day and night without end. This teaching is false and myth, borrowed from the deceiver, who upon all pagan religion was built. Sons of men, know you not what the scriptures say? That whosoever believes in the Son abides forever, and whosoever has not the Son shall perish and not see life. How then shall one say that whether one believes or believes not, both have eternal life? This teaching among the churches is of the church called Mother, and is of her father the devil, of which she continually emulates, seeking after her own glory, which she claims she had received from me. She shall be cut in pieces, and only those in whom I see of myself, fastened securely to their heart, in spite of their error, shall escape my fury when it comes. Lo, the day is at hand. Yes, the day is coming, and is already here, when this world shall be judged. Lo, it has already come, and is yet coming. Yet there are those among you, of whom I know and love, who say they love me, yet do not obey my voice, nor will they listen. For they do adhere closely to the doctrines and traditions of men, even to all their holidays, which are perverse in my sight, taking that which is holy, and making it unholy, even as a harlot, perverting her ways among many lovers. So then, behold the day, where all those who come to me in truth, being fully converted in their hearts, who also obey my voice and keep my commandments, shall be taken. Behold, they shall surely be gone from this place. And to the rest, though they have called on my name with all supplications, even unto vain babblings, they shall be left. For they are not truly converted in their hearts, neither will they hearken to my voice, nor give heed to my commandments. For they do dishonor me, and pervert my name by all their ways. Yes, even these, who do call of themselves by my own name, shall be left in the midst of the earth on that day. For it is a day of refinement, a day of tears, a day of heavy sorrows and bitter weeping. I ask you, have these lost their salvation? Had they truly received, do I live in them? For all who truly receive of me know me, and I live in them. And if I live in them, then in no wise will these turn away. For one who abides in my love shall never leave it. For they have tasted of the divine gift, and have looked upon my glory. They will not turn, but rest securely at my right hand. These are my sheep, the tame of my flock. They call out, and I do hear them, as I had called unto them, and they did hear. All my sheep hear my voice, and know the sound of my voice, and seek to follow me wheresoever I lead them. Yet there are many in this flock who remain wild, who have also been given me of my father. These I must bring also. Lo, they shall be tried, and refined by fire, unto pure white stones, of which all shall be given new names. They shall come to me by great tribulation, and shall be made white in my own blood, bringing glory to my name, even the name of the Father, who is in heaven, the name we share. And they shall all become one flock, with one shepherd. Behold, I shall be their God and they shall be my people forever, says the Lord, your righteousness. Salvation has come, and shall in no wise depart from my people, for that which was corrupted is made new in me, and will soon be refashioned of that which cannot know corruption any more. For all who come to me are saved, having been saved already, and all those who say they know me, and then turn away, never really knew me, nor had they really come to me, having spoken in vain.
for by the heart is one judged, of which I know, for nothing is hidden before me. I made you and know you, having always known you. Even those who will yet come to me, I see and know. For I see you as you are and will be with me where I am. Thus salvation cannot be lost once given, for it is only given to those who will receive. And only by the power of my own spirit can one truly know me as I am, believing that indeed I am who I am, calling me Lord. For those written in my book, which I hold in my right hand, were written there from the very foundation of the world, of which I was also slain. At no time was I not slain, and died, and risen. I am, and life is, because of me. So then, that atoned for by my blood is far-reaching, even across all boundaries, life and death, time and space. For even those before me were after me, and knew the Father, who knowing him knew and saw the time of my coming as afar off, having already repented before the Father in his name, which is also my name, the name he gave me, Emmanuel. Therefore, understand glory and the power of the cross, by which I have sprinkled all nations, all peoples, and all men. Only one's complete rejection of this truth and the hating of my name keeps them from salvation and life, of which I offer them in rivers of living water mixed with my own blood, which is poured out from my side, of which all must drink, even to the eating of my flesh to have life, life without end. And so the day comes, and is already here, when all shall come to know God and the power of his Christ, and shall come and sit before my throne, some to my right hand, and some to my left hand. Even so, amen. Let it be done and come to pass, even according to how it is and was written. Even by my own hand shall all things be fulfilled. Come to me, beloved. Gather round, and let me heal you and sanctify you. Your salvation is assured. For all who seek my face and obey my voice shall abide in my love and never leave it. Eternal joy.